welcome Thank school you. and of course the beautiful sounds of Kenta Isihara unbelievable I'm telling you beautiful you know and I think right now people just watch the show Kenya just to listen to you play right. you know I mean you add so much flavor and so much beauty in your sound it's just so beautiful okay, yeah and uh, welcome this evening to the show, Scope, and uh, we have a special guest, uh, Revisit, of Daryl. Welcome back, Daryl. Thank you. Daryl is, uh, Yuke is a uh, former CEO and president of the YES program, and he was with us about a couple of months ago, and he, like he said, he promised us he would bring one of the young men who have, uh, went through the program, just the uh, three or four steps of the program. Right. And uh, Kevin, nice Hi. to meet you, nice Kevin. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, Kevin. And uh, Darrell, I want to get right into it a little bit and, uh, and talk to Kevin a little bit about the program itself and the, uh, what he got out of the program and the positive nature and what it's done for you in terms of uh, your education yeah. and toward what you like to do in life in terms of, uh, you, you told me earlier off the set that you're interested in maybe getting into business and how has the U.S. program helped you towards your dream of being involved in business? Well, the first step of the YES program was to develop a business plan. But in order to have a business plan, the idea brainstorming phase is always the most important part because in order to sell something, you need to like have an idea. And that's very hard because when you start doing your research, you realize so many of your great ideas are already out there. But in order to still make it work, you have to do a lot more research and really try to think outside the box. And I think that's what the YES program has really helped because like just having that idea does not work because once you start writing down this business plan, you go through the marketing phase, the financial phase, and you get through different problems and challenges, you realize that you need, there's a lot more to a business than like it's an idea is just an idea, but idea cannot just turn into a business without like research and that's what yes program really helps because uh daryl brought in many professionals who has like real life experience in this field and they have taught us a lot of like practical business experience like what they have encountered because every uh yes program is broken down into sections and each section like an expert at a specific field will come in and talk let's say it is marketing someone who has worked in the marketing industry for 10 years will come in and let you know their insights into what's good for marketing same thing for finance and legal structure so it's really dynamic and overall um, experience because once you've gone through the course you don't just learn one thing like one subject in a class you learn the overall process of how to develop an idea and turning into a business now, what was, what, when you came and you, you had to come up with an idea of your own. Yeah. And uh, what was your idea, your plan, your idea, your idea? Well, because uh, we first, like, have a few in mind, but we, like, went through brainstorm. We had 10 ideas on the table, and then we thought which one would work the best. The idea that we concluded with mm -hmm. was called Loke, mm -hmm. and it's essentially a key finder, because I... Uh, one thing that I've learned as an entrepreneur is that like an idea is when you like s find all these problems in your lives and solving these problems gives you a good idea of like what's missing in the society and here I am always looking for my wallet keys and I'm just it's frustrating because you waste 10 minutes in looking for these things and these minutes add up okay. so I thought why not in having a, a device that can help you track these things. And that's where Loke came into our minds and we went with through with the idea. Oh, that's beautiful. And won the uh, first award. You won the first yeah. award? Yeah. Uh, unbelievable. So you were at the top of the class, your class, basically. <laughs> can we say that? Uh, well, I, ha I was a bit more experienced because the prior year, I also entered the YES program, but that year I've only ended up with uh, like third place slash like a most creative idea I did not end up with the first place and as just like in and I guess a winning nature of mine I just wanted to go back and work hard and win that first prize hmm. how did you find the years program? well it was uh, my mom actually told me about it because 
The YES program is sponsored by Nasina, and Nasina is very good at communicating with like the Asian circle. And through, I, I believe it was through my Chinese school, which was contacted, uh, sent an email to my mom, and then she told me about it. And then I, once I heard about the program, I just thought, wow, I have to try out. And, and Daryl, you were telling me. It's the same thing I always seem to get